What's up guys? This is a very, very interesting video I wanted to create. Um, before this video gets started, if you haven't seen my last video, it is a giveaway. Uh, 200 subscribers giveaway. And my other last video, the video before, the actual video, not the shorts. Uh, I have the free cash in the background. Do accept the affiliate link. It's a pretty good way to make some extra money. If you're more, in if you're interested, please check out the, the last video. Um, but I also have a 200 subscribers giveaway, so do check that out. Um, but let's get straight into the video. Like I said before, this is a very interesting video I want to get into. I am I just turned 20 years old yesterday. Um, in this video, I'm going to give you things that I learned so far and what I'm looking forward to. But also like what you should know by the age of 18 or maybe even a little sooner. You know what I mean? Get the knowledge, get whatever you need to get it right. You know what I mean? Um, now, I'll tell you a little bit of my background before I go into it. And now, it's, I like to have this channel a lot more educational purposes. Um, so I don't go fully into, like, I will, I'll go fully into what I do, but I don't go fully into, like, how much the amount is and stuff like that. Because I'm not here to flex. I'm not here to do anything. I got no watch on today, even though I love wearing watches every day in every video. But no watch today. No nothing like that. Because this is a straightly just educational and just a conversation between me and you. Um, like I said. I just turned 20 and here's everything you need to know or at least from my standpoint from being I'm still pretty young so but I've been around the block a few times for certain categories and certain things so let's just get straight into it first one is credit to like just really focus on that not don't go crazy on it because it's, it's very important and you know what I mean if you want to do certain things once you freshly have bread or any type of money then you're gonna need some type of credit um like I said though you just turn 18 or you're 17 and like you know what I mean what if your parents just not putting you on anything you have no good credit whatever it is no credit at all whatever it is your situation you're in I say the best start is a discovery credit card they have the uh, I think it's a discovery secure credit card or something like that that's what I started off with so it's very very efficient and very easy to raise, to raise your credit limit and all this other stuff um, basically the to-do list for your credit you know what I mean um, now the credit is a very simple thing to talk about, but it's also you have to execute it because people do lack on it. You know what I mean? People think like, oh, I have all this money. For example, you have 50 grand, 100 grand, whatever it is, or even less than that, 10, 20, whatever it is. Um, you got a little cool job or you got a little business going. You know what I mean? You're thinking like, ah, I got the money. I'm just going to buy for this. No, they won't let you buy it. You can have a bunch of money. You can have a bunch of money, yet they won't let you buy it because it's just simply for your credit. So focus on your credit. Very important. Um... Now, like I say in every single video, do your own research. I am not a financial advisor or anything like that, but I have been through, I have been focusing on a little other things throughout these two years since graduation. Uh, my graduation was a year ago, and even before that, I was 18, so I was focusing on little other things. Uh, but credit is very important, and you should try to work on it as much as you can. Um, next one is driver's license. Driver's license is also very important. You know what I mean? Um, Pretty self-explanatory, but people do lack on it. Uh, you see Instagram Reels and TikTok and YouTube Shorts about making jokes about people not having a uh, driver's license and they're like 25 or something like that. Um, very important to have one. Don't lack on it. Um, you know, you don't want to get in trouble for driving without one and stuff like that. Whatever career, job, or even school or business you're doing, you're going to need some type of transportation vehicle, especially for some of them. Um, for business side, or if you're on the on side, if you're on the online side, then yes, it's like whatever. Um, but if you're going to school or you have a job, or you have to, you need to commute from work or into to your school and stuff like that, you're gonna need a vehicle. And driver license is very important. Do get that. Um, very efficient, um, efficient tool. You know I me. Mean? Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory though. But people do lack on it, so don't lack on it. Um, next one is don't have a kid. Like, what are you doing? Don't have a kid. Like. <laughs> I have a couple I, the reason why I'm laughing because I have a couple of friends that are having kids right now and it's just like crazy how they're having kids and they're barely even making like 2000 a month it's like bro you you have working part time you're going to school for college and like come on you're going to have a kid too on top of that like it's, like people are going to school three times a day or uh, three times out of the week having this part time job and still living with their mom and having a full on kid like guys you don't have a kid work it out have a kid 30 40 that's a little late for my preference i would say my preference is about 26 27 higher but 30 is also a good spot 30 is also a good spot for um 
have a kid, but it's just like, you know what I mean? I don't really know too much about it, but just don't have a kid now. What the frick are you doing? You know what I mean? That's just, this idiotic, and it's like, just not good for any situation you're in, unless you have money already, unless you're like a, come from like a wealthy family, or even like a, a well-off family, but even then, I don't know why you want a kid now when you still want to do things, you still want to explore, you still want to travel, you still want to, you know I mean, work on stuff, create your passion, or even work on your passion, or just hobbies, or even social things, like have a girlfriend, or a boyfriend, or whatever it is, or a husband, or whatever, whatever you like, you know, um, just don't have a kid, not yet, way too early, way too young, just focus on other things, um, I would say the next thing for sure I can think of from just my birthday was yesterday, so the first thing I can probably think of right when you should turn 18 is shh, don't move out, bro. I'm still here at my parents' crib. I'm still here working, paying, help paying, all this other stuff. But shh. okay, let's get dive into a little bit more deeper into that. Um, I'm still staying with my mom's or my parents' cribs, uh, but. Don't trip about that. Don't trip about that. If you're 21, 22, still at your parents' crib, don't trip about that. Now, if you're not helping and not working on your businesses or not working or whatever it is, you're not paying no bills or anything like that, you're just sitting around playing games, then what the hell are you doing? Like, bro, what the hell are you doing? Um, but don't move out so soon, man. Stack your bread up. Have a plan. Have execute, like, execute your plan from here already. You know what I mean? For example, if you want to start your business, start it in your parents' crib or whatever you got, your your uh, supporter's crib, you know what I mean? Or whoever's supporting you at this time right now. Like, start it here. Don't start it. Don't have the idea and be like, oh, I'm going to get this little job and I'm going to get money and put it in there. and whatever. Bro, no. You want to get that little job to get you some little money in your pocket so you can work on your things? Do it in your parents' crib. Why? So you don't have to pay no full rent. No bills, no whatever you do, whatever situation you got going on. I do believe if you're a little older, you know what I mean? If you just turn 18, then yes. If you have a little job that's still giving you a little bit of money, I feel like 18, mid-18, end of the 18 is a good start to, you know what I mean, have a conversation with your parents. Be like, oh, I'm going to pay for this, pay for that, phone bill, light bill, whatever it is. Um, good good start, you know what I mean? But just don't move out yet. You Please stack your bread. And my recommendation is about how, how about like, five the tens or even more but it depends on where you live too be smart about it like if you have a good agreement with your family your good relationship and all this other stuff bro work together don't like don't think like okay privacy thing and stuff like that it's up to you dependently but my preference would be to work together i made about five to tens more than what they're making but it's so easy to be especially in this economy and everything else in the united states and in california too it's like it's so much easier just to work together and i don't mind being here still it's chill making money having good things go be able to go out for dinner with them like that's, that's good things you know what i mean work together and all that stuff now if you don't want to do that you know what i mean have that long-term work together live together type thing you can still be here for a decent amount of time two three years four years five years depending on your situations of course but have a decent amount of time to yourself in your mom's crib or your dad's crib or your supporter's crib or whatever you got going, you know what I mean? Just have that going so you can work on your other businesses so you don't have to pay rent, you don't have to do anything like that. Now, like I said, every situation is different. I recommend that you should help out. Especially if you're making a decent amount of money, you should help out. Now, am I telling you to pay a full amount? No. Have any situation you want and of course, at the end of the day, the main idea of it is stay at the crib for a little longer. Don't move out. I don't care if you're like, oh, you know me, my mom tripping, my dad tripping, you know me, I have no privacy. I want to do this, I want to do that. All good things. If you want to do that, sure. But, you know me, you you have to take the, 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 you know me, you have to take the responsibility with it. You want to go find your own crib? Go ahead. But now you have to pay for a bunch of other stuff. And, you know me, even if you do have the money, do you have the credit? Do you have this? Do you have that? Now you can get a hookup on places. Sure, you can get a hookup through a friend or something. Or like, you know what I mean? Some places got hookups and stuff like that. But, uh, you need a vehicle. You have a license. All this other stuff. See, these things connect together. And you need to really think about these things. And be like, have everything situated already. Have the five to ten, five times, ten times the money. That, I would say, than the rent. Uh, like you're paying, the full rent that you're paying. So, like, for example, your rent is... 
uh, 2,500. You should have five to 10 times more than that before you move out, even a little bit more if you want to be a little bit more secured, you know what I mean? Especially with whatever situation you're in and how the economy and the rent and all these, these people, because I live in California and the rent here is no joke, no joke rent. So that was just a pretty important step, I would say. Uh, I'm still with my parents' crib and you should still be with your parents' crib. You know what I mean? If you got school going on, you got this going on, unless you have a scholarship or, you know, paying for your college, have a dorm, whatever, that's a little different situation. Um, but here, you should chill. Just chill out, focus, work, do all these things. Um, next thing uh, is, um, don't, like, you know what I mean? Don't go crazy with uh, all these businesses and all this stuff. Like, if you have a passion, follow the passion, you know what I mean? Of course, you still need some different, uh, depending on your situation. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, depending on your situation, you should be responsible, you know what I mean? For example, if you need money to pay for something, get you a little cool job, you know what I mean? If you want to go to school and get that degree, go get, you no, know, focus on that. Focus on the job. Focus on your business. Don't focus on multiple things at a time. Now, if you're going to school and working in a business at the same time, that's okay. Focus on both of them. Don't overstack it though. For example, it's like your Thanksgiving plate, you know what I mean? You don't want to get a bunch of turkey, ham, mashed potato, you know what I mean? It's all, it all looks good, right? And then you put a bunch of your plate in and then once you're eating it, oh my god, you're going crazy and stuff like that, you're eating it. And then eventually when you get deeper into the plate, it's like you're getting full already. That's the same thing about working and the stress levels and all this stuff. Don't overburden yourself just by having multiple things and multiple ideas at the same time. You want to go to school, work on that. You want to focus on this idea as a business, clothing brand, whatever you want to do, focus on that. You have this little cool job that you need a little bit of money for to pay these bills and a little side hustle you got going on, do that. You know what I mean? Don't overburden yourself with different actions and ideas and, you know what I mean, side hustles and all this other stuff. Do what you can manage. And if you don't know how much you can manage, start light. You know what I mean? If you're going to school, Focus on school, you know what I mean? Get through your first year, get through your first semester, you know what I mean? And see how you feel, see how your scheduling is, your time management, your stress levels, how much assignments you have to do. If you have a little cool job, focus on that. You still pay, living with your parents' crib? Pay some light bill, pay the phone bill, whatever you gotta do, you know what I mean? Focus on stacking your bread up. You can do both of those at the same time as well. Now, it's a little stressful doing, it's more stressful doing that, but you know what I mean? See what works for you, just don't overburden yourself. And if you don't know where to start, start very light. And as time goes on, a couple months, start stacking it up and see how well you manage. If you notice that you're not managing well, bring it back a bit, bring it back a bit, you know what I mean? For example, you're going to, you're a full-time college student, you know what I mean? You're trying to get your AA or your bachelor's or whatever you're trying to do, you know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? You got little cool side hustles that's going on. For example, you got like vending machines or affiliate marketing or whatever you got doing got going on. And you know it's a little stressful, you know what I mean? You can cut it back a little bit. Be smart about it, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Uh, next thing I have to say is it's okay to take a day off once in a while. Two days off, three days off. You know what I mean? Depending on your situation, you still have to go to work, still have to go to school. But just relax, man. If you got time to relax, relax, you know what I mean? You don't need to go crazy. You have time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, you know what I mean? It's okay to take a day off. You know what I mean? Chill out. Watch a movie. Play some games. You know what I mean? Talk, some, talk to some friends. You know what I mean? Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? It's very easy to get caught up in those things. You know what I mean? Addicted. And you know what I mean? Just having fun. Enjoying yourself. You know what I mean? But it's okay to relax a bit. You know what I mean? Take some time off you. Especially if it's a holiday coming up. You, got, you know that your birthday is around the corner, you can know Christmas is around the corner, schedule for it, plan for it. You know what I mean? For example, you know what I mean? You have like uh, a couple weeks for your birthday, be like, oh, I'm going to take one this day off here, and then after that day off, I'm going to go crazy until my birthday week. And then you chill out on the birthday week, you know what I mean? Like, just figure out and schedule for your days off, you know what I mean? It's very important to, to relieve yourself of some stress, you know what I mean? Take a day off and stuff like that. And, you know I me mean? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your company. Enjoy in, being in a, a house, you know what I mean? Playing games, watching TV, you know what I mean? Watching that new TV series, that new movie that just came out that you're interested in, you know what I mean? Um, that also relates to the other thing I'm about to say is don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to spend your money on lecture, like not luxury things, but like more leisure things, you know what I mean? More pleasurable things, you know what I mean? For example, you want to take your girl on a date, your guy on a date, go ahead. Don't be scared. Now budget for it. I, I recommend budgeting for it. Um, 
you know what I mean, planning for it. But do try to plan some things out to, you know what I mean, use your money for your fun time, uh, for your own time, whatever you want to do. You want, you want to get your nails done, go do that. Take a day off, go a little bit shopping. You see that new bag you want. You see that new backpack. You see that with, with the new phone that you want. Go ahead, plan for that. I recommend planning for it, you know what I mean? For example, three months time, get it, and then like, you know what I mean? You know, how much money you make depending on your situation and stuff like that. Plan for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> plan for it, I just spit right now, my bad. Oh, uh, to plan for it though. Um, Very, very efficient to plan for your things, you know what I mean? Uh, your fun times and stuff like that. That's what I like to call it, you know what I mean? Relieve that stress, that pressure, and just enjoy yourself, you know what I mean? You're young. You should be able to use your money for the things you want, you know what I mean? And, um, that's pretty efficient so far. There's some other things I want to talk about just to bring up, to make you think about it. I'm not going to go fully into depth because I, I want to create videos on it later on. But things like LSC, you know what I mean? If you want to start your, you know what I mean? If you have a good business that's going on, you need to connect those two things together. Um, what's some other things we can talk about here? Like rent, don't buy, you know what I mean? The rent stuff, for example, if you want to move out, let's say you're 23, uh, you know what I mean? You, you took the advice of staying with your mom crib, your dad crib, your supporters crib, whatever you got going on. You stack some bread up, the business is going well, and then now you want to move out. Do not buy a house. Do not put a down payment down. No, you're still young. You don't know what state you want to live in, what area you want to live in, if you're outside of the United States, you know what I mean? Um, just be very chill about it, you know what I mean? Just be like, oh, I'm going to rent, you know what I mean? I'm going to rent this for a couple years, year, two year, whatever it is. Just don't go crazy, you know what I mean? Just, you don't have to rush things. Let it play out and smooth out as long as it can, you know what I mean? Um, it's like that saying, like, you know what I mean? Don't rush to be an adult, man. You're a kid still, you know what I mean? And once you're 23, you're still young. Don't rush things, you know what I mean? You, uh, even if you have bread for it, even if you have bread for it, I recommend just don't do that, bro. Just rent. Just do that. And if you want to, like, you know what I mean? You want to spend some money on some luxury things, you know what I mean? That's okay to rent, like, some cars and stuff like that. Stuff like that, okay, whatever, right? If you have the money for it, you want to, you have that Miami trip, you have the Atlanta trip, you whatever you got going on. You have that New York trip, whatever you want to do, okay? The LA trip, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to do, have fun, luxury for it, or luxury for it. Plan for it, you know what I mean? If those luxury items or whatever it is, just... Make sure that any situation, you, especially if you're on the younger side, any situation, just rent over buy. Rent over buy. Rent over buy. Mainly when it comes to the crib, I recommend just renting over buy. For other things, yes, depending on the situation and how you want it and how good, you, how well off you are, then yes. But just rent over buy. Um, let me look at my notes here. Let me see what we got going on. Uh... There's a few other things I want to bring up, for example, is uh, don't forget about your passions and hobbies. Like, if you love playing video games, don't sacrifice it. Like, it's okay to sacrifice part of it, you know what I mean? Like, for example, if you play, like, games on, like, a lot, like, six hours a day, then, oh, what the hell are you doing? You got better time, you got better things to do than play games for six hours a day. Unless it's your day off, and that's what you want to do, go ahead. But, you know what I mean? Time management is important, but don't sacrifice your hobbies and your passions just because you want to get this money and stuff like that. Now you can take some days off, days on, whatever it is, um, your situation, your time management, your budgeting, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, don't sacrifice them, you know what I mean? I still do martial arts, and I, I'm pretty busy, you know what I mean? But I still find time for it. I play video games still. Um, I got the PlayStation 4 here. I haven't, I have the, I haven't bought the PlayStation 5 yet because I've just been hella lazy. I got the new Xbox, but, um... You know what I mean? Uh, just don't sacrifice your hobbies and your interests for certain things, you know what I mean? Um, it's okay to like... When I say sacrifice, I mean like... Now if you're managing more properly, like you're managing your time more properly, then that's okay. That's okay. But just don't sacrifice it entirely, you know what I mean? If you still love it, you've been doing it for years, don't sacrifice it. Um, another thing I want to talk about is probably just... Nothing has to be perfect. Like, if you're, like, really, uh, not confident about things, but you're, like, passionate about your work and stuff like that, just go ahead and try. You never know what's going to happen. And, you know what I mean? Not trying, I feel like, not trying, in my opinion, is worse than not actually, like, you know what I mean, doing it at all, you know what I mean? Have that feeling of regret, you know what I mean? 
for example, you want to like ask that girl out, but you're just too scared. Now it's a couple years later, and now you're still thinking about it. You know what I mean? I don't know how people are about that top that topic, but you know what I mean. Uh, just don't regret those things that you're not trying. So at least try it, you know what I mean? Like, just do it. You know what I mean? You never know what's going to happen. I tried the clothing brand. Look where I'm at now. I'm chilling. I'm still my mom crib. because that good advice? You know what I mean? I'm 20 years old. There's no reason for me to be out right now. I'm helping with the family. Helping with this. You know what I mean? And then I'm getting bread coming up. Like, I'm making a decent amount of money. I'm having time. Like, for example, if I were to take this whole month off, I'll still be making bread. Like, just be very smart about it. You know what I mean? Um... Pretty much that's about it, you know what I mean? Uh, that's how much I know so far, and there's some other things I do want to talk about, but I'll leave it for a different video because I want to go in more in depth about it. But there's some other things, you know what I mean? Uh, very important things I've talked about. Um, 20 minute video here. If you made it this far, comment down below. I might hook you up. I might hook you up, you know what I mean? Looking for that 100, 200 dollars because I had the giveaway. I had the giveaway, so uh, I'm still in that joyful spirit, you know what I mean? Uh, if you made it this far, uh, you know what I mean? Comment here. Comment Tony Fantana right here. You know what I mean? Because I'm wearing the Scarfish shirt. If you comment that, I might hook you up. You know what I mean? You, when you want some money, I'll give you like 200 or something like that. I might hook you up. Alright. Peace.